Hello everybody and welcome to my e-lesson. I'm your guru and in this video I will be teaching you some statistics today and we would be learning how to calculate the maximum value, the lowest value, the median and the mode and we'll also learn how to create this beautiful chart and this all would be done using this data which is looking so very bland as of now. Let me just explain this to you. The, these are the share rates of 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 uh, enterprise and these are the dates the, this was the rate at which the share price opened this was the highest price for that share for that day this was the lowest price and this is the close price all right all, all the calculations that i would be doing would be doing i would be doing them with the closing price all right this one so statistics basically calculates uh, tries to in, uh, make inferences out of the given data. So we are trying to uh, we would be making four judge uh, four calculations today max which we'll be using to find the maximum value the highest closing price of that of a share in a given day range. So how do we do that? We type in is equal to max open the bracket select the range. I am pressing control shift down to select the complete range press enter or close the bracket and you get the highest value over here this was the maximum close price for the share during this given date range now let's find the opposite the minimum closing price of that share we type in min open the bracket select the range control shift down arrow you don't need to close the bracket just press enter the bracket would automatically get closed and here's the minimum value and that's a huge difference huge 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 difference all right let's find the median median is the value which is in the middle of the range that is how it should go let me see is equal to med returns the medium or the number in the middle of the set of the given numbers yes that is what it is median bracket open select the range and that's the median mode is equal to mode mode we will be using mode.sngl it returns the most frequently occurring or repetitive value in the given data that means the closing rate of this share which happened the the rate at which this share closed most often during this range so we type in mode.sngl bracket open select the range press enter so this was the most common rate the most common close rate now this is very much different from average let me let me can calculate the average over here is equal to eber average and Select the range, see the average is 16.3. Alright, so there's a huge difference between average and mode and median. Alright, so I hope you are clear with these four things. And how did we create this chart? We have the complete data, but we had used only, only the date and the close section. Now let me show you. Select data. See, these two cells are high, these two areas are highlighted. That means I use these only. How did I use these? So let's do that again. All right. So let's delete this chart. It's gone. Now, to do, to select two non consecutive range in Excel, that is what I did to make this chart. So first I selected this range. All right. I pressed control shift down now I'm using the cursor to go up and I will press control this is something tricky hand eye coordination needed control ah control and click on one the topmost cell now press now you continue pressing control then press shift and then press down so you have now selected two consecutive two non-consecutive ranges and 
now press insert now press chart and now let's have a line chart and here we go so this is how we created a chart in excel using non consecutive ranges all right so we will take it up which you can do yourself and now we have the chart we have the data and you can have the training file that you're looking at right now at myelesson.org for free so until the next video this is your guru now signing off for the day have a wonderful day ahead happy learning